really scared of the bulls. <laughs> All right, muskrat. Hmm. Why are you going to Pamplona to run with the bulls? Because my work wife turned 40 and facing his mortality has decided to speed up the process, I think. <laughs> and he asked for uh, somebody adventurous. To witness his death? <laughs> uh, to accompany him on his odyssey. And uh, up to now, what uh, has constituted your training regimen for this particular escapade? Um, I had three nights in a row of drinking till two or three in the morning and getting up early the next day. Sure. Mm -hmm. Which is good, good preparation, I hear. I try to run maybe a mile, mile and a half every uh, six weeks or so. Two or three days. Sure. <laughs> um, and you know, I'll try to. It's an 800 meter run from the bulls, so I'll jog like half a mile, and then I'll try to run faster half a mile. And then, you know, walk maybe the last quarter mile or so. So what's your strategy? My strategy is to try to start at about at Dead Man's Curve, which is apparently where a lot of people get dead in the curve. I figure if I run eight or nine miles an hour, the bulls run about 17 miles an hour. <laughs> Hello. It's totally going to beat you. <laughs> <laughs> then, by the time they catch me, I hope to be away from A, the crowds, B, the curve. So what do you so. think is your uh, greatest strength going into this contest? Um, I don't know that I have any strengths going into this contest. I'm younger than a lot of people. Actually, Rocky caught the chicken. I think it's gonna take a while before I catch the rabbit. Uh, on the on the videos, it looks like a bunch of old Spaniards do it frequently to prove their manhood. Right. <laughs> and and what what will be your emotional and uh, intellectual reward should you survive this um, pending debacle? I'm not sure that there will be much emotional or intellectual. Is that were those the two words you chose? <laughs> yeah. The reward will be a sense of accomplishment, and uh, he said it will change your life. Did he say that because he only has one leg now? <laughs> right. He said that because he has one testicle now. <laughs> Wait, really? No. <laughs> he did it twice, actually. But he, he clarified multiple times. He's like, I was much younger than you two are. <laughs> so if you fall, stay down. That's why I was doing the drills where I would fall, look around, and then get back up quickly. Realistically, uh, describe what the day of the race looks like. You have to be there at 8 in the morning. So a lot of people stay up all night partying. I do not plan to do that, I hope. And uh, you have to be sober, you have to be over 18. You have to be in the traditional garb, is my understanding. You can't bring anything with you. So what's your greatest fear? I mean, not in general, about this specifically. I don't really want a gore through my rectum. Well, it wouldn't be a gourd. You want to be gourd through. I don't want to. Have you don't want to have a poop bag in my backside. Okay. Yeah. I don't want a colonoscopy <laughs> through a bovine. I mean, is there a prize? No. You just stories for the grandchildren. Show how big your penis is. <laughs> don't Christy. I, well, I'm asking. Like, why would a bunch of Spaniards do this for centuries? Uh, it's adventure. It's fun. It's a big celebration. Is this addictive? It's a festival. I guess my last question is, does our insurance cover injuries taken in the course of 
running in front of bulls on purpose? I actually don't know. I know it covers during acts of war. Is this one of you? Maybe. <laughs> or not. Awesome. Well, I, I probably should read the policy. Yeah. Your first bull-related injury. I know it. Hopefully your last. It wouldn't be training. God if willing. They bleeding. And so, as he walks into what could be his final sunset, he wonders to himself, is this a terrible mistake? Or could this be, perhaps, the making of a muskrat? <laughs>